A mid-Michigan native who lost his wife to a ruptured brain aneurysm has turned his grief into a cause. Yeah, he wants people to learn from his pain by knowing what to look for before it's too late. Meg McLeod has a special iTunes report about Lisa's legacy. Still a very active scene. This fire. The world knew Lisa Calagrassi as a dependable, honest, and driven journalist. Now we're live at MSG. Lisa Calagrassi, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Viewers fell in love with her Midwestern charm as she hopped around the country pursuing her passion for TV news. No matter what she was doing, anchoring, reporting, covering, it came across as very genuine and from the heart. Just like viewers, Frankenmuth native Todd Crawford was charmed by this Ohio sweetheart while they were both working in Orlando, Florida in 1996. I turned on the TV one day as I was preparing to go for a run and there she was. A wedding, two boys, Davis and Evan, and the big move to the Big Apple later. Lisa landed a job with WABC in 2001. Over the years, she became a devoted New York Rangers fan, took family trips to Bronner's, and worked the graveyard shift as a morning reporter so she could be home for her boys after school. On the night of March 18th, 2015, the family crowded around the TV making their March Madness brackets, talking about what to have for dinner the next night. This would be Lisa's last cherished moments with Todd, Davis, and Evan. Todd's phone rang around 9 the next morning. I got a call from one of the top neurosurgeons at one of the top hospitals in the world in New York City. And when you get that call, you know that your life's changed forever. Lisa had suffered a ruptured brain aneurysm while reporting. She was rushed to the hospital, but it was too late. Lisa was gone at only 49. The really sad story that you often hear is a person much like Lisa Caligrassi who uh, was young, healthy, and had no idea that this was pending. Dr. Greg Thompson has operated on brain aneurysms for more than 20 years. Though they mostly affect women, especially those 35 to 60, he says they aren't exclusive to one group just where they happen. The aneurysms occur um, at the base of the brain where there's what's called the circle of Willis. As this video shows, aneurysms form when there's a weak spot on one of those major vessels, creating a balloon or bulge. Over time, they can grow and eventually leak or rupture, sending blood to press on your brain, causing it to swell. About 3% of the population will develop an aneurysm. Of those, roughly 1 in 10,000 will rupture, and 55% of those ruptures will result in death, or about 16,000 Americans every year. Dr. Thompson says removing one before it ruptures can mean a world of difference for a patient's outlook. It's amazing how, how well the uh, patients can do if they know about their aneurysm before it bleeds. While brain aneurysms don't always show red flags, there are a few risk factors and symptoms to be conscious of before they rupture. Smoking, being a woman, or having a family history of brain aneurysms can all increase your risk. Nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light, blurry vision, and severe headaches are just a few of the signs of a brain aneurysm. Dr. Thompson says the headaches are always described the same way by every patient, the worst headache of one's life. He says it usually occurs behind the eyes, at the top of the head, or at the back of the head, sometimes dipping down to the spine. A headache unlike any any other starts suddenly very severe. That's the kind of headache that you cannot afford to ignore. Lisa had severe headaches for weeks leading up to her death. Like many, though, she brushed them off, saying she was too busy to get checked out. Had we known then what we know now, today, uh, I would have insisted that we go seek the you know, help of a medical professional. Todd wants to ensure others know what they didn't. Last year, he established the Lisa Calagrassi Foundation to raise awareness, understanding, and funding for research about brain aneurysms. What we're trying to do is turn our personal tragedy and pain into a big positive for others. In the next few years, Todd hopes the Lisa Calagrassi Foundation will be a household name for brain aneurysm research and awareness. And he says all of that will be thanks to the greatest wife, best mother, and his true love, Lisa. We will leave, hopefully, an indelible mark on this world.